y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and we got to talk about something that's extremely important if you really want to differentiate yourself with value as opposed to relying on some gimmicky attention grabbing things with little substance like red hair for instance we're talking about positioning now what exactly is positioning well one of those super basic google searches where i don't even have to click a website tells me market positioning refers to the process of establishing the image or identity of a brand or product so that consumers perceive it in a certain way Positioning is a major key when it comes to your brand in the long term. So first I'm going to give a few examples of positioning to really deepen the understanding, but then I'm going to show a video that I think touches on what's really most important so you don't go about positioning and branding in a way that it boxes you in and it'll help you from overthinking things. So first in that example, we talked about establishing your identity in relation to competition. Well, that's because the biggest thing with positioning is differentiation. And if you're an artist in a pool of a lot of artists, you're always looking to stand out in some form of fashion. A simple example is the fact that Google is the biggest search engine in the world, but YouTube is the biggest search engine for videos in the world. Having that in people's minds help them go to you for certain things. That's that brand expectation. If I wanna search for pretty much anything random, Google. If I want to look for a video that I want to watch, YouTube. A second thing that positioning is really valuable for is communicating value. There's so many different ways to do this with positioning. One thing that you see commonly is, for example, you have regular clothes and then you have high-end clothes. Gucci is a well-known brand when it comes to high-end luxury clothing. So if you see somebody walking around in some basic sneakers or basic tees versus somebody who's wearing Gucci, you're going to assume more value in the outfit, even if you wouldn't wear it yourself. But here's the beauty about positioning. As expensive as Gucci is, someone could have some Gucci basketball sneakers, but they would not put more value on Gucci basketball sneakers than they would Nike basketball sneakers. Nike has positioned itself as an athletic brand and communicated all the values that are necessary to make you feel good for performance. You want people to think you're better, but better at what? Am I a rapidy rapper? Am I an artsy person? Do I sing? Are my visuals off the chain? That's something that you decide. Someone who's done this well in hip hop is Lil Yachty. Now I mentioned the gimmick of red hair at the beginning, but that's just attention grabbing. That's different from actual positioning. He's done great as positioning himself as for the youth. He has one of the most powerful brands in hip hop today, as much as it's slept on. And he shows he understands this with his projects like Teenage Emotions and just a lot of the decisions that he makes. Another big time positioning was what T.I. did when he came up. He didn't really have a chance to be considered the best rapper alive. There were already so many goats in the conversation and people that they were paying attention to, but he crowned himself King of the South. That best rapper alive conversation then became irrelevant for him as far as his branding goes because whoever was number one over here didn't change the fact that he was number one over here. Have you ever heard the saying that there's two ways to have the tallest building in the city? One, you can knock taller buildings down or two, you can just build the tallest building in the city, which gets perceived as the more positive route. When it comes to positioning, you don't knock other buildings down. You don't build the tallest building in the city. You just create an entirely new city. It's really what people mean when they say they're gonna stay in their own lane. You don't have to be everything to everybody. On this channel, I talk about marketing and branding a lot because, I mean, that's just what I like to talk about. I can't tell you how many times people have asked me to do content on a channel that's not in the lane I wanna be in, and I say, hey, yo, that's a super specific producer question. Go ask Curtis King, Busy Works Beats, any of the business. When people ask me about super deep nuances of the X's and the O's of the business and all that kind of stuff, I always say, hit up Sir Love at Phase Six, this dude breathes that type of information. The most important thing that you have to do when it comes to positioning is you have to make something called a decision. You know what decision means? It means to cut things off. So even greater than I'm going to do this, you're saying I'm not going to do all this other stuff, which is why a lot of people who try to do everything at once, especially artists, fail to ever get a position and have a hard time finding traction in their brand. And once again, positioning is extremely important because it allows you to differentiate yourself from everyone else, but it also allows you to connect by communicating your values. As always, I would love to know you guys' thoughts. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.